why did I decide to do YouTube? Is this a better angle? Mm, this question. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today me and Sam are on another walk and we've just found, what's it called? It... Don't have a clue where we are, somewhere in Somerset. We're in Ramsbottom, Edenfield. No, we're not. in Somerset. Stubbins. 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 So in today's video, we're going to do a Q&A. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're going to do a q and I've just put question thing on my Instagram, which only my friends are going to see. <laughs> So today, guys, we're going to be answering some questions that you've all asked on Charlotte's story, <laughs> uh, giving you the answers to them. Okay, I'm going up. Going on a trip. We're going on an adventure. I'm filming you, actually, whilst I'm going up. Whoa! I can't sit down there. Oh, oh, oh! How small are you? That's not, that's not like that. Some shrunk in lockdown. I've not shrunk at all. So, first question, someone asked why did I decide to do YouTube? So next year, hopefully going to Newcastle Uni, maybe Brighton, depending on my A-levels, to do media and communications, and it'll go well with it. No, I do filming, so I enjoy like being with, working with cameras and stuff. I mean, I'm only on my phone, I'm not on an actual camera, but if I can get a camera and stuff, that'd be really good. We're in lockdown, it's something to do, and I, I, I enjoy it. Even the editing bit, when I was editing my first YouTube video, I really enjoyed it. I've got a question. All right, oh, question, question. All right, okay. Is there anyone that made you start YouTube or anyone that you look up? Who do you look up to? I like watching Anastasia Kings North. Is that not what you meant? Well, yeah, I was just at least like, was there anyone that kicked you? Know, like, kick no, not really. Like, I just, I'm just really interested in it. But people with like moving vlogs and girls' holidays or I don't know, stuff like that. It's like memories, isn't it, to like look back on. Like me and Sam going on this walk today or the walk the other day. We're going to be able to look back and be like, oh, no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, Okay, next question. What would be my dream birthday celebrations if COVID didn't exist? Do you want to answer this one? A few different things, man. Just get up, have your full English. And have a full English for breakfast. You know, say hello to the family. That's just about it. There's nothing more to it, to be honest. Just go out. See you, see the lads, spend time with my family, get one down at the pub. Yeah, that's about it to be honest, nothing special, just, just out of the house, that would have been better. It was Sam's 18th in lockdown. Yeah, when it's Sam Leonardo's, which is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's not quite going and having a <laughs> with your mates, is it? But yeah, it is what it is, right? What's your ideal birthday celebration? My right, so I'd wake up with my family. I like this little blocking. And thing. you, you didn't say that about me. What's that? <laughs> you did say you'd wake up with me on your birthday. Have a nice breakfast and then I'd, oh no. I'd have, yeah, have a nice breakfast. Then I'd, but then I'd want to go out for food with my friends. Where would you go? Mm. For food, where'd you go? For like a brunch, I don't know where I'd go. So not full English? Well yeah, you can have full English for brunch if you want. Oh yeah, that's my question. If it, if it was my 18th this year, if we're not in lockdown, I'll have all my friends over to mine. Have a few prees and then go to, go out. Going to Manchester. Yeah, that's what I would have I failed to mention that, didn't I? I failed to mention a lot of things if I'm being Yeah, honest. yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I do for my for my birthday. But who knows? Last year for my birthday we had like a festival themed thing in my back garden. We just got, getting with all like my friends and stuff and um, it was really good. My brother got really drunk. <laughs> we had to carry him to bed at night, but you know what? It's all fun and games. Let's hope, be honest, it's hope. going to be a big party once it's done, isn't it? Yeah, Everyone's going to be out. Who knows when that's going to be. So next question is, someone's asked what's my fave music. <laughs> so I actually have quite a mixed range in music. I like indie, and then I also like just pop chart music as well. Our music is good. Our genres. Yeah, you like, what's your favourite music? Or would you say indie? I still say that is like my favourite, like my go-to, but I listen to a lot of different stuff. It'd be indie, it'd be rap, it can be... <laughs> Literally, like you're Ed Sheeran sometimes if I wanted. Rock, like there's nothing really other than country music. Other than that, <laughs> our music is brilliant to be honest. I like all of it. Uh, if, if the music was on, we'd dance to it basically. Yeah, get a good group. <laughs> um, my cousin James has a YouTube channel and he made a good. thumbnail for my first YouTube video. He has massively helped out Charlotte in yeah, creating a YouTube channel and doing, you know, getting all the basics. I say basics, all the complicated stuff. That I didn't know how to do, basically. Yeah. He taught me how to do it, so. Shout out to James for doing it. Shout out to James, Cheers, and I'll tag his YouTube channel in the description. 
so thank you so much, James, for actually helping me because I just needed a bit of a needed your help, bit of a basically. boost. Yeah. yeah, needed your help. So thanks, mate. Right, let's let, let's just do a bit of this. Is this a better angle? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right. Next question: How long have me and Charlotte been together? The answer is uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've lost count. Two years, two and a half years. Pat myself on the back is what I'm going to say. <laughs> Joking, no. Two and a half years. Um, September 21st, 2018 is when Sam asked me to be That's his. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm not, you know, seriously, it feels like it's got past me. Yeah. No, that's nice of you. So we're going to carry on walking and we'll answer a few answer more questions. questions. Either when we're walking or when we've... We're... Take an extra rest stop. Daytime date. Someone's... I've not said the oh, question right, yet. Ahead. Someone said... What is your perfect your idea? Perfect daytime and nighttime date. Yeah. My favourite idea or good idea for daytime would probably be like a a nice walk and like a picnic. I think. Well, all right. I was thinking a little bit more. For, I was thinking ideally would be some like, you know, your theme park, water park, <laughs> even picture. <laughs> yeah, that would be good as well. Anything like that. Just something that get a like, roller coaster ride. Oh, yeah. Something like that for like a... A date, whatever. Yeah, like a then, fun, if it's fun night, activity yeah. would be such a good. But I'd love to go to like a water park. We've been to a water park. Yeah, we're on holiday. Yeah. We went to a water park, and that was really good. And then for like a nighttime date, I'd obviously treat that more like a date, like a nice yeah. romantic meal. You know, light up the candles, get the wine out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'd do both. Time. I'd do the whole day, go to a theme park, and then it turn nighttime, and then I'd either go out for a restaurant meal, like a home cooked meal at home, with like candles and stuff like that. Last Valentine's Day. Made yeah, we made pizzas at home and had drinks and stuff. It was really nice. Made a few candles. And lit candles and stuff. So made that's a good idea pizzas. as well. Just re like nice and chilled, cozy, cute dates. I like. <laughs> <laughs> so this question. Someone's asked to talk about filming, and actually the girl that asked about it, I do filming with. But I'll talk a bit about it. I don't really want to bore anyone. But basically, I went to Carl Gobby's. Disgusting! So, filming. What was the question? So, what is filming like? It's actually quite boring. It's not boring, but there's a lot of sitting around. I mean, the other week I had to get up at half five. No, we didn't. I had to be there for half five. I had to get up at 20 to four. It's exciting. It's cool to see all the, like, the what goes on behind the scenes and stuff like that um for ridley road it's what i got my hair cut for like 60s clothes and i was in these heels and they were just so uncomfortable so the costumes are sometimes not great i had to have my hair done i had to get my hair done for like an hour and my makeup done and stuff but in between all the filming there's a lot of sitting around and they can be very long days sometimes you can get there work for an hour and then come home and then you can still get a full day yeah, and you still get full day's pay. Sometimes you can be there half five in the morning till like seven at night. But I do love it. It is exciting and it's interesting. It's something to do other than my job. It's another way that I can make money. He's going to do it. I bet he does it again. I told you I literally could call that. I might not do that many more because I've actually had, I thought it was going to get no questions. No, yeah, I didn't think. I thought no one was going to say anything. So, another question, what? Oh no, I hope I don't fall. That wasn't funny. I could have really hurt myself then. You're just sat over there laughing. Future jobs, I think. Oh, what do you want to do in the future? I want to go traveling. I asked on my Instagram what other videos someone said they were traveling, like talking about traveling video. So I might do one of them. I don't know. I don't want to bore everyone and I'm really scared that I am boring everyone. No, no, no. No, but no, that's not the mindset you've got. You've got no. If you're enjoying the video, show the support star, drop a thumbs up on the video, and comment, like, and subscribe. You are actually very nice of you. I want to go traveling basically. I go to university for three years and then I want to go to Asia. I want to go to America, but like Asia, I really want to go. I'd really like to carry on with YouTube and vlog traveling, stuff like that documenting what I'm doing, making memories. Um, and then kids, I want a boy and a girl, and I want the girl to be older. So, um, what job, living, kids? Right, jobs-wise, 
something to do with fitness, the gym. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something to do with fitness. I've started a fitness TikTok. Yeah, called Sam Dot Pinder with the E V in a free instead. I just thought I'd start one and see where it goes. Uh past three months I've been eating and training properly, literally tracking every single anything that passes my mouth basically. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. So if you wanna come and uh, support me and follow me then by all means that'd be great. But if not, obviously that's alright. But yeah yeah, that's the future. Kids, two kids, two boys. So a girls' holiday. I'm going on one this summer. No, I'm hopefully going on two this summer. But I'm definitely going on one. Not even definite, is it? Let's be honest. I'm going to Greece with um, one of my friends, um, hopefully for nine nights to cover. On tw two days after my 18th birthday. Will it actually happen? Who knows? Hopefully it does. And then me and my college girl group of friends, we actually will go anywhere. We don't know if it's worth booking yet, but we look like Zanti, like Malia, Kavos. Or anywhere, literally anywhere. And hopefully we do go. And me and Sam want to go on a holiday as well, but I don't know whether we are or not. It literally depends again on everything. But I've booked one, hopefully going on three. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers are TikTokers. So I like watching like Anastasia. I like watching Saffron Barker as well. She, does, she gets a lot of hate, I you know, but I do like watching her. Mm. Oh, I like watching like Ellie Hinchcliffe and Lee Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe, 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 Hinchcliffe. TikTokers, I don't, I just like for my for you page, I don't really follow any TikTokers, I'm not gonna lie. But I do use TikTok. Hi. I'll answer it. None of, <laughs> none of you have a clue who any of these are. Uh, YouTubers, favorite YouTubers. Greg Doucet. N n you have no idea. Joel Fazer, Greg Doucet, and oh my god, what's his name? Jeff Cavalier. Go it, go it. I've only got one TikToker that I really like. His name's his, his name's Jim Shaw. That's his name. Is. You have no idea. Is. So Starbucks, my favourite Starbucks order. I don't actually go to Starbucks that much. Do you go to Starbucks? Me? Yeah. I've been once with you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when we're on the way to car fest. I've not had it twice. When we're going to car. What you want to start, and yeah. then once when we just tried it out and it's first built. When I was in France or somewhere, and I tried like a, an iced chocolate, it was like, do you know how you get iced coffee? It's like that, but an iced chocolate. We went to Starbucks on the way to Carfest. I asked for that, and that was really nice. Oh, you got that Oreo thing. Did I get the same as Um, I have no I idea. Think it was like an Oreo milkshake yeah. type thing. Oh, Basically, yeah. we don't go to Starbucks <laughs> that much, but we when we go, we like it, and we get like chocolatey things, basically. Are you most excited for after lockdown? When lockdown ends? Oh, just, just going out to be honest, just going places. Like, Do you know what outside. It is? It is, it's giving just family members, just giving them all old car feeling guilty. Go in the garden, but it's not the same. Go in, but my nana's, I'm in a bubble with my nana, so she yeah. she comes to us every Saturday. I'm excited to see my family just, oh yeah, my family are close, but Sam's family live like down south. Down, every, yeah. Warrington, Liverpool. Scattered everywhere. Basically. Everywhere. Sam's 18 now, so he can go into Manchester or well anywhere. <laughs> I'm just excited to go out and see my friends, basically, mm. in an actual inside setting, not just a walk or anything. So I am back home now. I'm just going to finish a few more of the questions off. One of the questions was, "Where's my dream holiday destination?" I'm going to mix this with another one, which was, "Where would I want to live?" And I would like to have a travel to or live in Australia, I don't know how long, but I would like to go at some point, it looks amazing, I've never been. But yeah, I'd like to go to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you while we were getting high? Come in and slide. Um, so another question, let's just put me... So another question was, what's my favorite drink? Alcoholic drink would be, I like cocktails and stuff, a anything that's not fizzy, vodka and cranberry juice, or wine, I like rosé, not alcoholic, water or milk, it's not that exciting, pretty nice. So that is it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A that me, me and Sam did, it was very last minute, but 
I enjoyed it, Sam enjoyed it, so I hope you did as well. I didn't really give much notice on the uh, Q&A questions on my Instagram. Me and Sam were on a walk and I just thought, oh, should we do a video? Put it on my Instagram and kind of started straight away. So if it's interesting, give it a like. Also, make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you.